to another episode of Ingredient Challenge with me, Rosie Burkett, for BBC Good Food. In this episode, we're going to be cooking with one of my favourite store covered ingredients, anchovies, and we're going to be making a really gorgeous, creamy cauliflower and anchovy gratin. But if you've only got broccoli, that also works really well. Let's go through the ingredients I'm using. So I've got some anchovies and olive oil. We're going to need about five or six fillets a lemon, some dried chilli flakes, half a red chilli, I'd use a whole one normally but that's all I've got, you could use green as well, a couple of cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of plain flour, 300ml of milk, I've got a couple of tablespoons of creme fraiche but you could use sour cream or double cream, and then I've got some crispy um, dry breadcrumbs here with some pumpkin seeds. So if you've got some breadcrumbs, great. Otherwise, some lovely pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds just to add a bit of crunch. Then we've got our cauliflower, a glass of white wine, some rosemary and some dried chili flakes. First, to prepare your cauliflower, if you've got one like this that's got loads of leaves on it, then you just want to cut off the, the base here and then peel off the leaves. Now I'm gonna keep these and put them in the gratin after I've given them a wash. So I'm just cutting these leaves off here and then I'm gonna cut out the core of the cauliflower. So just go around like this. And then just pull that out. And then you want to break your cauliflower down into florets. This one's breaking apart quite easily. You want them to be kind of bite-sized florets. And then I'm still going to use this lovely core of the cauliflower because that's got loads of flavor in it. So I'm just going to chop that up. It's lovely and nutty. And then we're going to just briefly blanch this cauliflower. So into a pan of boiling water, salted boiling water. And we're just gonna boil it for about three minutes. So I've just drained my cauliflower here and I'm just going to blanch the rest of these leaves really briefly in the water as well. So just for literally about a minute. Zest your lemon. So here's our blanched cauliflower and cauliflower leaves and I've got an oiled roasting tin here. So I'm just gonna arrange the leaves in the dish. And what I wanna do is have some nice bits of leaf sticking up around the sides because that's going to create some lovely crispy bits. We all know those are the best bits, don't we? Put those in there. And then in with the lovely cauliflower. Just tuck it all in and then I'm going to squeeze over some lemon juice over here. We're just going to dice our chilli up nice and small. so. Cut it, if, cut it into strips, like that, and then just dice it up. I've taken the seeds out of this one because it's insanely hot, as I learned last night, but um, obviously chilies do vary, so it's up to you how spicy you want it. We're gonna crush our garlic. Just cutting off the base and then crushing it out of the skin. And just finally chop. And chop up our rosemary as well. So you want to get your anchovies out. I'm going to use about five of these nice anchovies and olive oil about that many and then just roughly chop those but they're actually going to break down in the oil so you don't need to chop them very finely so I've got my pan over a medium high heat and I've got my anchovies rosemary garlic and chili and my lemon zest I'm just going to heat up a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then slide in these ingredients and you want to just fry these off for a couple of minutes until the anchovies have melted down into the olive oil and the olive oil is infused with all these lovely flavours. Also put your lemon zest in there as well. 
and then this is all going to infuse in the olive oil and already it's smelling absolutely incredible and you can see that the anchovies are starting to just break down in the oil. We've also got our oven heating to 180 fan and you can see here that those anchovies have really broken down into the oil and all their flavour has been infused and the garlic smelling really really delicious. Then we want to go in with our flour and we're going to make a roux now by cooking the flour into the infused oil with the other aromatic ingredients. So you just want to cook that into the oil and you'll get a lovely paste. Okay, so I've got my roux here and I'm just gonna tip in my wine. You can see immediately it's gonna bubble up and thicken. And then you just want to stir it really rapidly and to get rid of any lumps. Oh my gosh, the smells are off the charts good here. Just cook that into a lovely thick base. And then you want to start slowly adding in your milk. So this is quite hard to do with one hand, but you want to gradually add in your milk and just stir it in to the roux. And that's going to create your lovely creamy sauce. Don't worry if it splits, you can just bring it together and keep stirring it to get rid of the lumps. So you want to cook it into the base like that and then just add a bit more and keep on doing that until all the milk's been incorporated. You can see I've got a lovely thick sauce here and I'm just gonna add my last bit of milk. So that's going in there and you just keep on stirring and incorporating it and it will all just come together into a lovely, silky, delicious sauce. So we've got a lovely thick creamy sauce here and I'm just gonna add in my creme fraiche or if you're using double cream, add that in at this point and just cook that into the sauce as well. And there's our creamy sauce with the cream incorporated, the creme fraiche. I'm just gonna add a little pinch of chili flakes at this point because I just tasted it and it's not quite spicy enough for my liking. I like it to be quite spicy. And a pinch of salt as well. You don't need too much salt for this because there's obviously a lot of salt in the anchovies, but it just needed a little pinch of salt just to boost those flavors. Right, so here's our finished sauce. And we want to just pour this now over the cauliflower. So make sure it's coating all of the different florets and leaves of cauliflower. I'm using a spoon just to make sure that I can get some really nice even distribution. A little bit of a spill there. And there you go, and you can tip it all over once you've coated everything. Just scrape out the pan. And then you want to grab your crispy breadcrumbs and pumpkin seeds and sprinkle those over the top. And that's gonna give it a lovely crust. I've got some fennel seeds in there as well, but that's, that's really optional. And that's gonna give it a lovely crunch when you cut into it. There we go. And now this is going in the oven at 180 fan for about 20 minutes till it's bubbling and golden and delicious. So the gratin's been in the oven for about 25 minutes and it's ready. It's lovely and golden, as you can see, and the crust on top's gone really nice and crunchy. Um, it smells amazing. This is really versatile, this dish. You can have it with pan fried fish, it's good with chicken, it's good on its own with some bread. There are so many things you can do with this. Um, but yeah, it's even just great on its own as a lovely lunch. So there you go, a gorgeous anchovy and cauliflower gratin. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back soon with more. Thank you.